Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. I'm Ron Drell Moore. And I'm Patrice Dayton. Major drug manufacturers have made recent settlements to support communities devastated by the opioid epidemic. It's a problem local families know all too well. 1,512 people died from opioid overdoses in Indiana last year. Eight of those deaths were in Vigo County. The city of Terre Haute will see $2.5 million through a settlement to help mitigate the local opioid impact. Newsom's Blake Dahlier is live in the studio. He breaks down what this could mean for the city and when we could see this money. Patrice Rondrell, this money will be phased in over the next 18 years. That's why city officials are saying they'll have to be strategic with how they spend it. The money is coming from the city of Terre Haute rejoining a state litigation settlement from the opioid epidemic. The settlement comes from McKesson Corp and Johnson & Johnson. Officials say the goal of it is to help solve the opioid crisis right here in town. City Attorney Eddie Felling says they previously opted out because they weren't happy with how all the money was being spent. But he says now that they've rejoined the agreement, they're happy to be able to have the extra funds. He says as soon as they get the first payment, they'll be doing their best to spend it wisely. While we're going to get a nice, uh, nice bit of money here to help us move forward with this process, it's going to take some time to work through how we're going to be able to actually use that money and make sure we use it effectively. Felling says the first installment of the funds could be in the summer. He also said he hopes the city can declare victory over the crisis. Patrice Rondrell, back to you.